Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic Markov chain. So this is a problem, the uh, fair die is going to be tossed n times. n times we are going to get n numbers, not necessary all the numbers are different. Numbers 1 to 6 will appear. Now we have to choose the maximum number as xn. So xn is the maximum among these n numbers and we are asked to write the TPM. Now let me explain it with one example. Since we are tossing a fair die, any number from 1 to 6 may be maximum. So there are 6 possible states and the transcend probability matrix is going to be a 6 by 6 matrix. Let me explain with it with one particular example. Consider this, first toss I got a number 2. Second task number 1, third task number 2, fourth task number 2, fifth task I got a number 3. Now, if you take x2, maximum among the first two numbers, first two numbers maximum is 2. x3, maximum among the first three numbers is 2. x4, maximum among the first four numbers, 2. x5, maximum among the first five numbers, it is 3. And note that the maximum since we are taking the maximum the number will change only if we are getting higher numbers if we get either the same number or lower numbers the maximum is not changed so in other words state will change if we are getting higher numbers otherwise state will remain in the same position now let us see what happens at the end of the sixth throw sixth throw possible outcomes are one two three four five six that i have written sixth task these are the possible outcomes and in all these six cases the present state remains at state three so at the end of the fifth task maximum number is three now sixth task suppose i get number one one is included here so when i include one i will get x6 equal to 3 since the maximum number is 3 so the same state is preserved probability of getting 1 is 1 by 6 same thing happens for number 2 and 3 also but when I take number 4 if this is the possible outcome this is the outcome happened so 4 is included here now if you see the maximum maximum is altered number 4 so from state 3 to 4 it is moving from state 3 to state 4 it is moving probability of getting 4 is 1 by 6 and same can be explained suppose 6th task 5 then 5 is included maximum is 5 so from state 3 to state 5 it is moving probability is 1 by 6 like that 6 also so I explain this row suppose current state is 3 possible next possible states are 1 2 3 4 5 6 now lower numbers cannot appear since we are choosing the maximum that itself i told you lower number it cannot appear so it cannot move from state 3 to state 1 or 2 it may remain in state 3 itself if the pass outcomes are either 1 or 2 or 3 probability of getting either number 1 or 2 or 3 or 1 by 6 so i am going to add these three probabilities adding these three probabilities i will get 3 by 6 now state 3 to 4 will happen only if the outcome is 4 probability of getting 4 is 1 by 6 state 3 to 5 it will move if the outcome is 5 and probability of getting 5 is 1 by 6 from state 3 to state 6 it may it will move if the sixth task outcome is 6 probability of getting 6 in the sixth task is 1 by 6 that is what written here so it is one particular case x5 if it is 3 like that x5 if it is 1 or 2 like that if we consider we can get the entire 6 by 6 matrix in this way and it is easier to remember this matrix diagonally it is increasing 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 6 by 6 and the lower triangle 
is 0. Below the diagonal, it is 0. Above the diagonal, all the elements are 1 by 6. This is how we are going to get the transition probability matrix. And we can solve any problem, any probability based on this transition probability matrix. Let us see another problem in the next video. Thank you.